Hi everybody, Recoupa here, and welcome back to another Lost Phone, Laura's Story. Last time, we cracked the security chest app and hidden inside there was another messenger, our messenger, this one being more personal, and an app to upload and retrieve things from the cloud. Inside the app, per se, we found a bunch of personal conversations with Laura and her friends, but most importantly, there were two things that brought my attention. The first was her conversation with Alex, her first boyfriend. We got some clarification that Alex couldn't have been behind the leaking of the video. The second important information came from Laura's conversation with her sister, Carmen. There's a very high possibility that Laura's pregnant from Ben. The test was negative, but she was advised to make another deeper test just in case. The last thing we got from retrieving stuff from the cloud was some notes Laura did regarding domestic violence. So it's not looking too good for our dear old friend Ben right now, huh? We might be getting close to the end of the game here. I this is a mighty this might be the finale even. I'm not I'm not sure. So together with the new notes we found regarding domestic violence, we've also uh, recovered 152 or was it 125? One of the two. A lot of SMS messages. And how much do you want to bet that most of those are between Ben and Laura? Besides all that, we, we still have the I Am Here app, which, by the way, I cannot click on everything. You see, like, nothing happens if I click on any of these portraits here. Okay, well, are you guys ready? I think I am. I'm not really, but let's go. <laughs> SMS. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have Charlotte and we have Amir. Oh my god, who's Amir again? On November 29th, Laura mentioned an Amir. At the party last Friday, your friend Amir mentioned going bowling. Do you want us to go? Hmm, I'm not keen. I think Claire will be there and I don't really want to see her again. And then that's when she mentioned, uh, that's when Ben mentioned Claire to Laura. Do we go Amir or do we go Charlotte? I'm gonna go with Amir. Or should I go Charlotte? Ah! Let's go Amir. June 1st, 2017, and this was a couple of days ago, very close. Hi Amir, it's Laura, Ben's girlfriend. I just wanted to know if you're still friends with Claire. Don't tell Ben I asked you. Hi Laura, uh, yeah, why? Ben told me she tried to end his relationship with his ex, Julia, while they were still together, because she wanted to date him herself. Is this true? Mm, no, I don't think so. And anyway, Claire was dating Oliver at the time. Claire told me that Ben was violent with Julia. Do you think that's true? Let's say Julia was a complicated girl, but I got the impression there were times when he really lost it with her. I advised Ben to see a therapist or join a support group for people with anger issues, but he wouldn't listen. But you still remained friends with him. Uh, yeah. Why didn't you tell me this before? Oh. I don't know. What goes on in Ben's private life is none of my business, and it's ancient history now. Yeah, well, you could have at least warned me. Listen, I already told him to get some help. I did what I could. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this was just confirmation then. That more support towards Claire being in the right here, and Ben being the wrong. Because... Well, but then again, Amir is Ben's friend, so... Mm. But I don't know, I am very inclined to think that Ben is the absolute culprit here. Besides the zucchini, of course. Well, let's talk to Charlotte then, see what else have you done. I'm surprised, I thought we were gonna have new messages from Ben here from the cloud. Hmm. Charlotte. Uh, let's go all the way up. Let's see what's new here. What has been... Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, so this is exactly after Charlotte's last message on March. I'm worried about you. 
I'm coming to see you during my lunch break. I hope you let me in. And look at how big this conversation is going to be. Let's go. On the next day. Hi, Laura. How are you feeling today? So, so, why are you texting me on my work phone? After what you told me about your guy, I wanted to text you somewhere he couldn't read the message. Anyway, I suggest you use a password to lock your work phone and never unlock it in front of him. He already flew into this heavy, jealous rage when I wanted to lock my personal phone, so I don't think that's a good idea. What do you mean, heavy? He yelled at me and said I was hiding things from him. He accused me of having a lover and said I didn't really love him and that I was locking my phone because I didn't trust him. Okay, I get it. That's bad. It's not normal, you know? I don't know, but at the same time I understand him. He needs reassurance to know that I love him. Don't you think it's a mark of trust in the other person to let them see the contents on your phone? No! No! No, Laura, no! No, a hundred times no! Jesus! Like, you have a lover, you have someone, and the relationships are based on trust. And that has nothing to do with people checking out your phone. Everybody has their private stuff to do, even between lovers, you know? Uh, so, no, 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 don't let him see your contents of your phone. That's stupid. No, I disagree. There you go. Charlotte is on my good list. No, I disagree. A real mark of trust would be to believe the other person and not always feel the need to have proof of their love and faithfulness by snooping through their phone. Plus, it's important for both partners to have their own secret garden. Exactly, exactly. Listen, for him, it's not really negotiable. He's been lied to in the past and needs some reassurance. Yeah, I get it, but it's not great. If you want a reason for locking your phone, you just have to say Michael insisted on it. Michael being Laura's boss, remember? What do you mean? So you lock your work phone and tell him it was Michael's orders and he wants the work phones to be more secure because the phone contains confidential work stuff. Yeah. Okay, I don't see why I would need to lie to him, though. It's unhealthy not to have a space where you can grouch about your relationship occasionally without him knowing. Yeah, but if I'm having relationship problems, I should just talk to him, shouldn't I? Sure, but it's sometimes good to talk to your girlfriends to have another point of view. Okay, okay, I'll lock this phone. Couple of, couple of days later. Hi, how are you? Exhausted. I've just been running for an hour. Wow, congratulations. Where do you go running now? It's been a while since we bumped into each other at the park. That's hardly surprising because I run on a treadmill we have at home now. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Is he still keeping her locked up? Wow, those things are expensive, aren't they? It was a present from Ben. Oh, you see? You see? He's not he might not be literally locking her up with her with the key, but he's locking her up through psychological means. A pretty silly gift, huh? I mean you can run outside for free. Yeah, but it's so handy. I can run and I want you and don't get harassed in the street by that stupid man. Since when have you stupid men stopped you from running? Well, that's true, but Ben was worried about me and prefers me not to go out. Wait a second, what do you mean he prefers you not to go out? Yeah, he's afraid something might happen to me. But you do go out, don't you? You go shopping, meet friends, you still see Amelia, Elsa? I get the shopping delivered, it's easier, and I'm talking to my friends less and less at the moment. No! Oh, I'm 100% sure that Ben is the prick here. He's the true culprit. He might even surpass the zucchini. Why is that? Oh, you know, you tend to have fewer friends as time goes on. And when you're in a relationship, you don't see people as much. Oh my god, Laura is, is in such a toxic relationship. But you still see Emma, don't you? Not really. Since I've been with Ben, things have become a little complicated. Nearly all of my friends have faded away. I'm starting to wonder if they're jealous. No! What do you mean jealous? Well, you know, I'm one of those rare and lucky people among my girlfriends who's found a job they love and my life with Ben is fabulous. No, it's not. Not only am I happy in my relationship, but he has money too. So financially, I'm living in a fairy tale while they're struggling. Ooh, okay, there's money in the, in the equation now. So let's think about this. No, <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. No amount of money can buy our happiness, okay? And you think they're keeping their distance because they're jealous? That's the only explanation Ben and I could come up with. 
sad, but there it is. Laura, I'm sorry to tell you this, but Dan's behavior isn't normal. He is the one who's jealous. I get the impression he's controlling you, that he's isolating you. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'm saying this based on what you're telling me. He's jealous and wants to read the contents of your phone. He controls you by not letting you go out on your own. He's manipulating you with the treadmill gift. He's isolating you from your girlfriends by insinuating they're jealous of you. That is not normal and this doesn't happen in a normal relationship. He has a problem. You always focus on the negative. It's not like that at all, Charlotte. I swear it's nothing to worry about. Okay, he has his faults, but nothing serious. No, he has a problem. And of course you're blind to it. You're madly in love with him. Okay, so you have your own take on things and just won't let it go. You're a pain in the ass. I guess it's useless talking to you. Oh no! Sorry if I'm interfering and it's none of my business, but I'm worried. Like I told you, everything's fine. Leave me alone. I'm here if you need me. And then, a week later. Hi, Laura, how are you? Oh, Charlotte, Charlotte's such a precious person. She's, ugh. Oh. Ooh, and then all the way to April. Hey, I don't know if you're mad at me, but you know I still consider you my friend and I'm here if you need me. And then uh, a week later again, more or less, just to wish you a very happy birthday and I hope everything's okay with you. Oh my God, it was Laura's birthday on April, right? And then she answered, Hi, thanks for your happy birthday message. How are you at the moment? Not great, I have to say. What's up? One of Ben's former friends contacted me and said some terrible things about him that have really upset me. This is Claire. I can imagine. Have you mentioned it to Ben? No. Really? Why? She told me he had a history of violent behavior with his ex and it's really freaking me out. But then Ben already told me about this girl, how she was in love with him and would do anything to have him to herself. I don't know what to think. Okay, so how do you feel about it? My first reaction was to not believe her. But then I thought about everything you said and started to realize that I should leave him. And I've given it some serious thoughts, especially as he's been pretty difficult to live with recently. But he was so sweet on my birthday, so I'm confused. He's aware of his faults, you know? Which means... He knows he's too possessive and he does apologize. His work is really exhausting. Sometimes he drinks a little too much to unwind and then says things he doesn't really mean. Alcohol is no excuse for bad behavior. But he knows when he's gone too far. And my birthday was so romantic. He took me away on a surprise weekend and it was fantastic. I really felt like I had rediscovered the Prince Charming I once knew. But aren't you scared he'll start over? No, not at all. He even promised to see a psychoanalyst to address his anger management issues. Okay, keep me posted on how the situation develops, all right? Okay, promise, promise. Mm. And then on 24th. Hi, how are you now? Did things get better with Ben? No. What do you mean? Since he worries about me all the time, he got me to install an app so I can quickly send him my GPS coordinates if I have a problem. Ooh. Basically, it was meant to be a really practical thing, so I was, so if I was attacked or anything, I could, in theory, discreetly press a button to let him know where I was. But then he wanted me to use it at a specific time to reassure him so he knew I was safe at home. So I was sending him a message every lunchtime. Then it turned into twice a day, then three times, and finally every hour. Oh my god, he, he, was, he made sure that she was using the, the GPS app in order to, to reassure him that she's still at home, like controlling, that's a form of control. And the other day I went out to get a coffee and when I used the app, I told him I was out. When he came back that night, he went into this massive jealous rage and it made no sense. He was convinced I was meeting another guy at the cafe and he just got this idea into his head. He was yelling at me, it was horrible. I just let him yell at me. I was paralyzed with fear. He wouldn't let me sleep that night. As soon as I dozed off, he'd wake me up again and the man I tell him the name of the person I was at the cafe with. The next morning at breakfast, I told him I'd had enough and couldn't go on like this. Then his attitude totally changed. He told me he was nothing without me and I meant everything to him, that he was scared of losing me, that he didn't know what he would do without me. I'd really like to leave him, but I'm scared too, you know, I'm frightened for him. He needs my help to help him get better. No, it's not you he needs, it's a therapist. I thought he was going to see a psychoanalyst. He made an appointment, but had to cancel because he was busy at work that day. Too many meetings, it's too many meetings, me, I tell you. 
Don't you get the feeling it's the same old pattern? He behaves badly, you threaten to leave. He apologizes and you change your mind? Listen, there's a conference followed by a support group meeting held by an association supporting victims of domestic violence. I've got a friend who works there. I'm going and I really like you to come with me, okay? Oh my God, Charlotte's such a precious being. Oh, I'm so happy that there's this person. This person exists. But I'm not a victim of domestic violence. Ben's never hit me. Okay, so he's never hit you, but sometimes when you talk, I get the feeling you're suffering psychological abuse and the conference will be tackling that issue too. What do I know? I'm not an expert, but it could be interesting to meet them, don't you think? Worst case scenario, you'll see that it doesn't apply to you, and at best, you learn something about domestic abuse. It happens a lot, but people tend not to talk about it. You can at least find out, surely. So what do I tell Ben? The reason why I'm not there when he gets back. Tell him you're having a drink with me and I'll bring you home. That way, he'll see you're not with another guy. Okay, when is it? Next Thursday after work. Well, why not? I'll drop by and pick you up. And then on, was it four days later? How are you feeling today? Bad, I didn't get a wink of sleep last night. I kept getting up to read the notes I took during the meeting. There were so many things I recognized in Ben's behavior, it scares me. I feel so dumb and stupid for not realizing earlier. I've been so blind and you were so right. No, you're not stupid. The important thing is that you've woken up to what's going on. You're a strong woman and brave. But I've been so dumb to allow myself to be manipulated like that. I guess I should have. I guess I should leave him, but I don't know what to do. I don't even have a place of my own anymore. You can come and stay with me if you need to, when you're ready. Thank you so much, Charlotte. I'm so lucky that I can count on you. When I think of all the women talking at the support group yesterday, some are living in situations much worse than mine and have nobody around to help them. Thanks for being there for me. I'll always be there for you. And if something ever happens to me and I can't help you, you won't be alone. Look at all those women yesterday. Some terrible things happened to them and they thought they'd never come through, but the association always supported them and stuck by them. That's true, but I must insist. I can't thank you enough for your support. And then on March, I'm sorry, then on May. Hey, how are you today? Look at how precious she is. She is always the one who starts the conversation. She's looking out for Laura. That's so amazing. Oh God. Find a friend who's like Charlotte. <laughs> I'm feeling so much better. Ben organized a lovely surprise to celebrate our six month anniversary. It was fantastic. You know, maybe I exaggerated a little last time. It's not like he's a monster. Oh no, she's back. She's back. Remember what they said at the conference about cycles of violence? I think that's what's happening between you and Ben. It's okay at the moment, but it's not the first time things have turned bad and then got better. Can I suggest something? Count the number of times a day Ben's behavior becomes unacceptable. That way you can monitor if there is a cycle with a steady progression of unacceptable behavior. Then it stops, then gets progressively worse again. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to install a counter on my phone to check that. <gasps> That's what's the counter for. Can we check that real quick? Let's check that. Okay, so the next day she installed the counter and it was zero. And then one time he, he got angry once, then three times, then four, then six, then seven, then eight, then 14. And here we thought this was health symptoms related. I'm pretty sure Laura is healthy. <laughs> On May 21st, he was angry with her or something 16 times. Oh, this is not good. And then the 27th. But look at this. On the 31st, the last day of May, 25. <gasps> Ooh, that is not good. That is not good. And then the last day that she counted was on why is this one highlighted is it because of today probably but the last one she counted was on june june 4th two days ago so i'm going to install a counter on my phone to check that whatever write everything down won't you even the little innocuous comments so if he comments on how i dress i write that down too yeah even that it's not up to him to tell you how to dress it's your body it's your choice Keep me posted on what happens, okay? Okay. And then a bunch of days later. How are you? Nothing. And then more days later. Hi, Laura, I haven't heard from you. I'm worried, are you okay? And then, 
Laura, please let me know if you're okay. I just want to make sure you're still alive. Oh no, I am so worried. And then on June 1st. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, June 1st, like there was this whole locking up the, the, the with the password, cloud saving, all that stuff. Sorry, I haven't been in touch for so long. I've made up my mind. Ben is dangerous. I have to leave this town and I think I'm going to report him to the police. You're right to report him. However, are you sure you really have to get out of town because of him? I don't want to leave just because of him. I want to go because I need to breathe again. To heal myself in a peace... <gasps> Hold on a minute. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry to interrupt the, the message here. But I suddenly just remembered something. The train accident. Oh no. Oh my dear lord. No. No, 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 no. Let's keep going. I don't want to leave just because of him. I want to go because I need to breathe again, to heal myself in a peaceful and healthy environment. I'm just worried that I have nowhere to go. Listen, maybe I have a solution, but that means I'll have to talk about your situation with Michael. Are you okay with that? Okay. Okay, I've talked to Michael and we've come up with a, with a solution. There's a branch of the association that needs a communications manager. It's a long way from here in a quiet town and he offered to transfer you there. You'll be away from here, but at least you have a job. You could stay with the director until you find somewhere of your own. I've also checked that the Association for Support for Victims of Domestic Violence has an office there and they'll be able to help you file your complaint. So the stage is set for you to slip away. Just tell us when you're ready. Thanks. Don't mention it. But just one thing. You have to return your work phone to Michael. I would suggest you make up a backup I would suggest you make a backup of all the content rela relative to your situation with Ben. It would be useful for you to have a timeline of events and maybe store the evidence for when you report him. Ask Nadia in the IT department. She'll explain how you can save the content. I'll call you soon with more details. Meanwhile, just act normally with Ben. You don't want him to suspect anything. Charlotte. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that was a little bug <laughs> yeah it's a little bug there okay okay um hmm. oh oh my god oh jesus fucking christ that scared me you have one new email from laura from laura okay she's oh she just emailed her something herself oh my god i've got just got the chills oh okay game i was processing stuff <laughs> I was about to say there's nowhere else for us to go because we there's no more SMSs here we've got everything from the cloud so now what? well, now we have an email okay, let's go from Laura herself so she's sending her an email hmm. let's just keep going ooh and this is today Lost phone? This message is for the unknown person who may find this phone. My name is Laura and I own this phone. I'm not writing this to get it back, but I may need your kind help. My partner is a violent and dangerous man. I've just left him to start a new life somewhere else and deliberately dropped this phone at a station when I was changing trains. Okay. I wanted to get rid of it so he, would, so he couldn't locate me. I called my sister, who told me that he was harassing the people close to me to find out where I was. And that makes my blood run cold. Wow. Oh my god. I've installed an app on my phone. I am here. If you use it, the app will send a notification indicating the phone's GPS coordinates. I'm hoping to lead him down a false trail so he leaves my friends and family alone. The code to unlock the GPS is attached. Obviously, I would please ask you to erase the data on this phone and then throw it away so he can't locate me and to prevent him from harassing you as well. Whatever, don't worry about me. I'm safe and intend to make a formal complaint against him. Ooh, and here's the... the okay, okay, okay. Okay, good, okay. So Laura just sent an email to herself with hopes that somebody who found the phone uh, was able to read this and, you know, be a detective like we are. <laughs> okay, 
good. And she wants us to click on the GPS so that Dan go there like and thr throws him down a false trail. Mm. Okay, I don't think that would be help. That would be too much help. Oh no 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 no! But uh, she dropped it at a station. Ah, okay, so it's like another place, another town. Ah, that's actually a good idea. So Ben will be like, ooh, she's in a neighboring city, in a neighboring town. So I'm gonna go there because I'm crazy. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. So we need that then. We need to throw Ben off the loop. And then we need to erase all the contents on the phone. Okay. This is downloaded to the gallery. All right, so now we have the, the thing here for us to unlock the GPS. Oh, but it starts from here, so it's this, 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 this. Should I take a picture of this? I think I can do this by myself. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I think I can do this, do this by myself. Okay. So first I need to... No, not this. Uh, not this. Where is it? There's too many buttons. <laughs> um... No, it's the, the settings. Settings, please give me the settings. There you go, GPS. Enable GPS, and then let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, but hold on, hold on. Uh, this is gonna drain the battery, isn't it? As soon as we clicked on it. And I don't want to do this just yet. Hear me out here. I believe we're still missing something, cause, cause listen, listen. If you click on the GPS, okay, then off screen, Ben will go like, ooh, she's at this random city. Let me, let me just go drive there and see if she's there and leave all of her friends alone for days to go. Right? Right. And then the next order of business is to just um, erase all the data on the phone. Good. However, I believe we're still missing some achievements. So... At this point in time, I don't mind uh, Googling stuff, so give me a few seconds while I try to see how to get all the others, the other achievements. I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, I did miss something important here uh, on the email account. Let's get this out of here. We can actually click on Laura's picture. Did I do that before? I probably didn't, but if I click on Laura's picture here... Ah, look! Select email account. So we have her main account and we have, was this the, ooh, was this the fake email? Laura.b1991. Was this the fake email that sent the video? This email here was, oh, okay. So the email is the one who sent the video. Uh, Laura.b1991. That was Ben. Ben created that email. And I, while well, I was looking for a Charlotte's message here, <laughs> my God, there's so many layers of messages for us to go. When Laura was talking to Claire here, and she tried the email herself, she blamed uh, Claire still, because she was in denial. And she said, it was you who created that fake email account. You chose his year of birth as a password. Okay, so in order for us to log into that email account, we need Ben's birthday. And I believe we can do that the same way we did with Alex here. He's 30 years old, so we can just do the math. Okay, let's try it out. 1987. Aha! A different mailbox. Ooh. Okay, okay. Let's start with Paul here. I thought of you and have something for you. Click here to find out what it is. Should I click on it? Jesus Christ. The files have been erased. Good, good. <laughs> this is like, oh, you little minx. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on. This is a new conversation because this is on the other email. <laughs> you little minx. I suspected you were hiding your true self at the office. I understand if you don't want everyone to know you want to sleep with me. People would just gossip and that would piss me off too. If you want us to meet after work. Wear your red dress tomorrow, you know, the one that fits tightly around your ass. I would get the message. See you tomorrow. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Mohammed H. Look, just man. I think you've sent this to the wrong person. Yes! Mohammed! Be more like Mohammed! Michael J. What's the meaning of this, Laura? We need to discuss this urgently. The boss. And then Nadia. 
Hey Laura, I think your personal email account has been hacked. Come, come and see me if you need some help to make your IT more secure. Ah, good people. Good people are around. Jean. Hey Laura, I'm incredibly embarrassed. I really like you, but I already have a girlfriend and I owe it to her to be faithful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's check the, the sent ones. Oh my God, he sent it to so many people. Okay, so he first sent it to himself. And then to Charlotte. And then to Ethan. Robin! I remember Robin, Jesus. Okay, so we've got all that figured out then. So yeah, that's one of the achievements. We have one more. Okay, so actually that's all there is to it. There is one achievement that I can get that I could have gotten uh, at the start of the game, which is to immediately erase all the data before doing anything else. Like, you turn on the game, you start a new game, and then you erase the data. And I didn't do that, so I couldn't get the achievement. But after we're done with everything, I will try to see if I can still get it somehow. But for now, on this on this story that I'm playing right now, we're missing a couple of achievements that we'll get as soon as we do the as soon as we finish the game, basically. So, all right, next order of business is to do this. So let me see if I can still get this. Dun 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 dun. I can. I, I totally can do this. All right. Settings. GPS. Enable. Boom. 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 Easy. Easy peasy. Now battery level is gonna drain. Um, and now all we have to do is let Ben know that we are here. Go. Ooh. Where are you? Oh, it was Ben who sent the video. I apologize again for having wrongly accused you. I could you I could see things were going badly in our relationship. But every time I told myself I was going to leave him, he became adorable, sweet, and romantic again. So this is the next day. I really thought he would change, but the cycle kept repeating. Who's she sending this to? Oh, okay. The doctor said I was missing my period because I was so stressed and had lost a lot of weight. And when Ben discovered I wasn't pregnant, he went crazy and called me selfish for not wanting to have a child with him. Ah, good, she's not pregnant. And then it suddenly dawned on me, the pew reminders that had disappeared from my phone. It was him. He wanted me to forget. Oh my God. And he didn't even deny it when I confronted him. Jesus Christ. You were right. Forgive me for not believing you. So this is on the 9th. Ben was insanely jealous and I now realize he was manipulating me. He was convinced I was hiding things from him. And I think he was actually tracking my phone. He ended up push pushing me when he tried to snatch it out of my hands. I thought it was best to leave before he went too far. And I threw my phone and SIM card away, just in case. Okay. I actually felt ashamed. So this is Laura, like, sending messages with another phone to people, just like, you know, just to explain what happened. Give some conclusion to everybody. To everybody. I was convinced that I was to blame for the situation with Ben and didn't dare tell anyone. Forgive me for having gone so far away without letting you know. I just felt empty now. I'm physically and mentally exhausted, but I'm going to take care of myself and rest. I was so stressed out that I couldn't sleep. I feel like I'm slowly recovering from a long illness. Hi, Michael. Thanks again for authorizing my transfer. I got here safely and the change of scene is doing me so much good. I'm surrounded by great people here and my transfer went very smoothly. I'm preparing my complaint with the help of an association here. Thank you so much once again, Laura. That's so good to hear. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there. Even when I pushed you away and didn't want to believe you, you stuck by me. I'm gradually getting back in touch with my old friends and I'm so glad to know they are here listening to and supporting me. If ever you need anything at all, don't hesitate to ask, even if we're further away from each other now. This is totally Charlotte. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That was so nice. Erase all data. The final word. Nice. Thank you for playing another Lost Phone, Laura's Story. Okay, that's a wrap. That was Laura's Story. Compared to the first game in the series, I think they've improved in absolutely everything. This one was harder in terms of figuring things out, passwords, puzzles, but somehow it made the game much better, in my opinion. It made us feel more involved with the phone itself. 
I had to go back to a bunch of messages all the time. Of course, I mostly cut that out, but uh, I had to go back in previous apps to just to confirm some facts and everything. The layout of the phone itself has improved over the first game, which was pretty, but very simplistic. You know, which is expected from the first game of a company, so that was normal. That doesn't mean it was bad, by the way. The first game was amazing, because it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It was really good, too. And just as with the first game, the characters in this one all have their own personality, which is something I love. It gets to the point that by the end of the game, you know exactly who's who. <laughs> if one or several aspects of Laura and Ben's story apply to your current situation or to that of a person close to you, please reach out. There are various designated associations and crisis helplines that can assist you. Accidental Queens hasn't released a sequel to the series as far as I know, but they've released a similar one with radio mechanics this time. Which you bet I'm gonna play one of these days. <laughs> Not for a while though. Uh, I will I will be continuing this story down the line. The story in this game, hmm. I I pretty much enjoyed it because I felt more like a detective in this one. But in terms of relatability, I relate more to the story of the first game, to Sam's story. I'm not going to spoil it just in case you haven't watched it, in which case I highly recommend you do. Uh, but it's close to home a little bit more on the first game. But uh, this game was too good. I I really enjoyed how they did. Like they, They've probably got feedback from the first game that there was not that uh, difficult to find passwords and everything. And so they've upped the difficulty level in this one, which I personally enjoyed. Okay, let's restart the game here. Let's see what happens. Ooh, okay, I've restarted the game. Let's see if I can get that one um, achievement now. In order for us to get that achievement, all we have to do is come here and erase all data. Do we really want to erase all the data on this device? Yes. And there we go. I got the last achievement of the game. None of my business. Oh my god, I am so angry at myself right now. I am so angry. I missed one last achievement. I missed the erase the data achievement because I actually clicked on the erase button that there was on the screen. I actually had to go back and physically erase it from the... Oh, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. Well, Laura Story speedrun. Okay, I got the email from, from Laura, and now apparently all I have to do is erase the phone without clicking on the GPS stuff. So that's all I have to do. Boom. There we go. No trail left behind. Okay, and with that, I believe I am truly done with another lost phone, Laura's story. So please, please, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the game. It was really good to me. And remember... Lock your phones with very, very secure passwords. I'll see you guys in another timeline. Ciao!